My name is Rahim Chitzas, part of the Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning or this afternoon. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Great. So my name is Danielle Amos, and I'm tuning in from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Awesome, awesome. How's the weather up there? It's beautiful and sunny today. Awesome, awesome. Let's keep it like that. So yeah. listen, I got, I got a bunch of questions for you. I know you Canadians are all crazy. Very aggressive when it comes to success. So you you probably know the answers to these questions very well, and everybody could enjoy. What do you define success at? Because I feel like a lot of people are using that word. We need some definition and clarification of what that means. Because I sure. feel like a lot of people look at it monetarily only. But I want to hear from you. Yeah, well, I, I love that question. I Success, the truth is success means so many different things to many different people, right? You mentioned money and it could mean re simply reaching your goals. Like what is it that you want? It might be a new baby, a new house. So success to me, I take Earl Nightingale's definition and he said that success is the progressive realization of a worthy goal. So as long as you're moving closer towards your goal, I believe you're successful. There's no end. Yeah, Errol Nightingale, mm -hmm. yeah, Nightingale is a... I just don't know. He has that voice. Yes. It's a little bit creepy voice at the beginning, but then you like it, and then you're like, how's this guy... It's, it's like one of those weird voices that you can't... I mean, I know some people love it, but I'm in between. I like it, but then sometimes it's just like that deep... I don't know. It's weird for me, but I like it. Overall, it's one of those I listen to it. It's one of those voices that you kind of hear like throughout your day as you're doing something. It's like he creeps back in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like that deep voice where like I, he, he, he talks and you could see the recording, but it's more like, hey, you better be doing this shit. Like, don't play around. I'm, I'm putting my voice over here. I'm working. You better be taking this in. So I feel like if you ever not do stuff, like he would just come back alive and then like get on my case. <laughs> why I didn't apply this stuff. Yeah. That's how I feel with that. Right? I but agree. very powerful guy. Um, I have a lot of respect for him because he definitely, he was ahead of his game where he put that on the radio show. And I don't know if it was that popular back then, but I'm pretty sure he could have done other things to make more money. Yeah, absolutely. That. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. And he, he was way ahead of his time. I mean, he was talking about the laws of the universe in such a way, I mean, he didn't come out and say it, but that's essentially what he was teaching, the success principles in that manner. So it was great. And, and the fact that we go back after all these years, I don't know the number, but I know it's, it's a long time. I would say over 50 years. Mm -hmm. And now we're still listening and it still holds true. Um, that's powerful for social media and YouTube and all that stuff, that a concept could last that many years and it still hold true. Uh, so that's that's pretty fascinating. So what are goals? How do we achieve goals? Yeah, so, well, a goal is something that you want that you don't know how to do it. A goal is something that you've never done before. A goal is, I believe that you should have a pro professional goal and a personal goal. Mm -hmm. I love money goals because we can measure where your mind is to the penny if you have a money goal. I've also worked with people where you could have an impact goal. So the number of people you want to serve an impact. Um, but a goal is something that scares you. Like you don't know how to do. It scares and excites you at the same time. It's something that you fantasize about. You have no idea how to do it. And it's something that you really, really, really want. Yeah. So here's a, let's talk about metaphysics a little bit. Mm -hmm. If a goal comes to your mind, wouldn't you say that's the universe telling you that you are capable of achieving it? You may not know the way. You may not know how. You might need to, I don't know, recruit a bunch of friends to do it. You might recruit a mastermind group. You might recruit the right employees, right company, right finance company. All of these things, you need to go out there and recruit. You Got need it. to build that relationship and network and bring it in so that you could achieve your goal. But random goals don't come to my mind. So mm -hmm. when I tell people, like, the universe wanted you to achieve that, you should see that as a sign. You know, it shouldn't be like miraculously someone appears in front of you and says, you got to do this, or you have a, 
uh, out of this world intervention by some higher power that like it universe is telling you go do this thing and it's going to give you the capability to do it. it might take some time but what's your opinion on that i absolutely agree with you i i believe that if you have the desire to have to be do or have something it's for you like you would never have it if you couldn't achieve it and i believe you shouldn't know how to do it like if it's a true like we call it a c type goal if it's a true goal you won't know how when you want it and the most growth is attached to that kind of goal and that's really the purpose of a goal is to have you grow and so when you decide to go after that goal what will happen is you'll start attracting everything you need to achieve that goal like you said if it's a mastermind if it's employees if it's a you know a coach is it if it's more talent in an area you'll achieve that you'll attract that ability to do that or at least the resources to get you there so how do i go about what's the first step so let's say i have a goal let's say i have a dream but then it turns into goal because i put it in paper i have the plan and everything else i got that what's my next step Yeah, so once you decide what it is you want and you're really crystal clear. So it's got to be very big and full of clarity, like so much detail. And then you think about how you'll feel, who you will be when you achieve that goal. That's really important to to use your imagination to see it on the screen of your mind because the so the writing will cause you to think, right? So then with more writing, more thinking, you'll have more detail. And then I would say the next step is that you want to start being open to be shown the path. And that might look like a conversation like we're having right now and that might trigger an idea that you can go act on because action's key. I I saw that on your profile. It's so important to act. And I like to think about taking inspired action because a lot of people that I see, you know, they're spinning their wheels doing the same thing over and over. and they're getting the same results. So it's so important to go to that end goal achieved in your mind, see yourself there, who are you being? What does it feel like? What action steps are you taking? Who's around you? And then from that place, you start thinking. And from that place you'll get ideas cuz there is a place, right? It's frequency. So from that place you'll get ideas that are on the same vibration of your as your goal achieved. and then you want to implement those ideas cuz they're good ideas. Yeah, Napoleon Hill talks about the action part and and having the plan and immediately taking action on it. A lot of times I feel like I don't know, I'm guilty of that too. Um a lot of times we overanalyze it because we don't we may not understand the technology, we may not understand what is required, but Napoleon Hill talks about and I know why he says that. I have an idea or I have rationalized it for myself why he says that. I feel like an object in momentum in motion is going to keep in motion. Something that's stuck is going to stop. It's going to be stuck. There's no movement. So you got to push through that even it could be an inch, but at least you got some forward momentum being picked up. A airplane sitting at the at the uh, you know airport ain't going to do anything. it's not it's not going to go from point a to point b so there must be some trust there must be some push there must be some fuel and you need a pilot now i consider coaches as a co-pilot because now you're you're guiding the main pilot do this do that so you're doing that you're assisting together so where do you see a lot of people not succeeding what's the challenge yeah the challenge is in their own mind the the limits that we put on ourselves is in our all in our mind the truth is we all have unlimited potential and we literally can be do and have anything we want and that word anything is so important it, it just has to come from within you as a desire and the biggest challenge is the limitations that you have in your own mind due to the programming you received and it's going to sit in your subconscious mind and it literally puts you in a box and so when you go and step out you might have a great idea but if that idea isn't a match for the way you were programmed you'll go step out we'll hit fear doubt worry we'll bounce back into comfort looks like procrastination looks like you know self sabotage all sorts of reasons but the truth is is you just weren't programmed to 
achieve that result, although it's for you, it's your desire, so you can have it. And because of that reason, just because of that reason, you need to reprogram your subconscious mind so that you can have it, right? So that you can actually achieve it. Yeah, I mean, it, I, it, it takes work, you know? A lot of times, that's what I tell people. Like, don't put the goals down if you're not willing to show up every day and work and hustle and get shit done. And uh, it was so funny. Uh, we were doing another project and we're onboarding a new person to help me with, with marketing. And I had that conversation. I said, listen, it's going to be brutal. Chances are you're not going to survive. You know, the, it's going to be a lot of night, no sleep at night. We're going to, like, I scared the shit out of him. Like, <laughs> I wanted to make sure that I was, I, I, I was hoping for him to call me the next day and say, I don't want to come. Mm -hmm. I was like, listen, this is not a playing around. If you're not going to commit the next 10 years, don't show up. This is not for you. And the reason why I tell you is because I like you. And I want to stay friends, but I want to let you know you're prepared. Your goals are on. See, none of the goals happen in the in the shallow yeah. area. <laughs> yeah. It's down the ocean with the sharks that are going to beat the shit out of you. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're waiting. They're, they smell you five miles. I don't know. I think I heard sharks smell the, 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 the blood for like yeah. five miles, five miles. But I'm like, you better know that your competitor five, ten miles away, he's got the sniper bullets ready for you. You you better show up with, with, with a bulletproof vest because you're going to get some bullets. So if you're not prepared for it, don't show up. Just get a job, be cool, and you can be happy. You can make $75,000 a year and be happy. I have a lot of friends that do that. And they're happy. There's nothing wrong with it, right? Mm -hmm. A million dollars is not going to make you happy if you're not happy inside. So the monetary, it's not going to do anything. Now, you can show more muscles, better car, all that. But that's where I see. So here's my question. Somebody comes to you. What's the first thing that you do to them? <laughs> I love how you say do to them. <laughs> uh, well, the first thing is uh, to have a, a real honest conversation about what it is that they want. And I find out where they currently are. And we we get honest about about those two things because I need to know what that gap looks like. Um, and from there, if I can get the person emotionally connected to their goal, I know that I can help them achieve it. So they need to be able to see it on the screen of their mind. And so I help with that. And then we add more clarity. I help a person get more clarity so that they can actually see themselves achieving it. And it's just like, you know, an elite athlete, Olympic athlete, they see themselves winning the race before they've ever won the race. So I do that with, with my clients and um, that we do that through conversation. We do that through writing. We do that through visualization. There's t a ton of tools, uh, but Right. You're back. You're back. Go ahead. Okay. Am I? You're good. You're good. Go ahead. Well, almost there. Almost there. Did we lose her? I think we did. All right, you're back, you're back, go ahead, you're back, go ahead. Or maybe I said it too early, she's not back. Okay, you're back, go ahead, okay. go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I said what we do is we start to work with the person's subconscious mind. So we get to get to know what the desires are from where they want to go to where they currently are. And then I help bridge that gap. And it's, we use a variety of tools. So just like an elite athlete can see themselves win the race, we do the same thing with a client. So we help them see it in the screen of their mind, feel it, really live it. And then we take a look at what's actually happening in their life and we, we close that gap for them. What's your favorite self-help book? Ooh, that's a good question. I give me the love... top two. Give me the, <laughs> give me the top two. I'm well, cool. Give me the top two. Carry the 
just went around <laughs> with me everywhere. Think and Grow Rich. And I saw that on your profile too. So, I mean, I, I can pick up any page and get so much from it. So this would be the first. And the second is Quantum Leap Strategy by Price Pritchard. I love the this. Quantum, I, have not, I have not read that. Okay. So that's when you want to pick up. He also read you, uh, wrote U Squared, which uh, looks like this. Yeah. Brilliant. That's a good title. Mm -hmm. That's a good title. That's a good title. How do people find you? Well, the easiest is to oh. message me on Instagram at underscore Danielle underscore Amos underscore. And uh, yeah, reach out to me there and I'll answer my messages and get back to you. Thank you. Listen, I want to thank you so much for taking this time out of your busy schedule being with us. Hopefully we'll be able to do more uh, videos because there are some of these topics are fascinating. And I think more entrepreneurs need to know the, the content. So thank you so much for taking this time. Thank you for doing what you do. You're doing a great job. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Stay safe. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.